What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Okay, so here we are, survival area, and, uh, oh wait, the door is shut. Never mind. I just realized that that's where you're going to find the gym leader, so we're going to have to wait a little bit for that one. It's a whole complete episode for that one. Now, we skip this part right here, and I believe, yes, there is a trainer and an item right here, and, uh, well, we're going to be battling some people. Kicking that butt. Taking those names. All that stuff. That's right. So here we go. Taking on Dragon Tamer Geofree. I'm just playing. <laughs> Jeffrey. And he does have himself a Gabite. Now, if you guys remember, or if, I'm not remember, but just remember this. If you guys want to finish out the game with your regular team right here, this is a this is a good place to actually train your Pokemon because a lot of these trainers' levels or the trainer Pokemon levels are upwards of 50 and above. So you're gonna get a bunch of experience points. Plus, you got the VS Seeker. That is a nifty item that can actually battle every single one of these guys over and over and over and over and over and over again. And you know, you'll be you guys will be ready. Uh, for when you battle the Elite Four and uh, maybe Arceus, you know, because that is a strong-ass Pokemon. The god of all Pokemon. Okay, so let's see. What is this item right here? Ah, Dawnstone. Okay, so we've already gotten a Dawnstone. Uh, already evolved a Pokemon that, that, was, that needed that Dawnstone. So let's move on right here and uh, not be attacked by any of these Pokemon. Uh, talk to some of the people here in the survival area and... Uh, yeah. Now, a lot of you guys are wondering, will I be doing the Battle Frontier in this game too? Well, I'm still on the... Guys, I'm still... Oh, God. I am still on the fence with the Battle Frontier. It just, like, it just demotivates me. So, we're, we're just going to put those things on hold. But this is the place where you can actually find the Battle Frontier. I hear that it's a little bit funner in this game. Now, if you talk to this guy... Stop moving. Uh, he will actually give you a TM. TM42, which is, I think, Facade. Yes, and facade is a move that doubles up in in uh, in power if you are if your status is affected like burn sleep all that no well not sleep but you know the moves the, the the effect state will actually allow you to move and all that stuff so let's go right ahead and uh, well take care of a few things like use a max repel because we don't want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon and. Uh, Go up these stairs right here. Not up these stairs, but the rock climb and all that crud. So there it is. Rock climb is going to be used a lot in this area. So make sure to have a Pokemon that knows rock climb. And if you go in here, you'll be able to talk to this guy. And he will be able to teach you any Pokemon or any moves for any Pokemon. Or powerful moves for Pokemon. Now you're going to have to have certain amount of shards. Different color shards. As you can see, Donatello can actually learn quite a few good moves in this one. But I'm not going to teach him anything right now because, again, we're trying to explore the whole area right here and then eventually battle the Elite Four. And, uh, well, let's see. There's an item right there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Red Shard. It's pretty good. Awesome stuff. So, let's see. What is next? We're going to go right here into the, uh, rocky, uh, the rock climb and uh, we're just going to take care of a few things like get more items, battle more, pe uh, more people, what have you. I don't know. It's awesome. You know, it's me going up and down stairs. And let's see what this guy has. Let's see. Let's see. I took root pains. Oh, yeah. Now, this guy right here calls his Pokemon partners, which is good. Very good. He loves his Pokemon. Now, I'm sorry, but you're going to get your butt kicked right now because you got a Tyrogue. And I got myself a Toothless. That's right. That is right. Anywho, guys, I'm going to talk a little about what had happened previously I mean I know it's taken me about a month to actually come out with the rest of this whole walkthrough or the final parts of the uh, the walkthrough I do apologize for that been very busy but I hope you guys were entertained with the Pokemon leaf green walkthrough you know it's still ongoing and you know I I am planning on doing other remakes too so just be just keep uh, you know just be aware of all that stuff right there too guys and uh, look at that he's got a hit on Chan I kind of want to, kind of want to know if there's a Hitmonchan around here where you can actually capture, it. or no, just capture a Tyrogue or shoot, get a get one of these hits. I think you can get one in the Pal Park. Yeah, you you can trade or you can migrate one over, which is pretty cool. And uh, well, look at that, 
Gray or Ace Trainer Graham. Graham. Kind of sounds like Graham or something. I don't even know. Okay, so I'm gonna take away the experience share, and I'm gonna give that to Gaia because, uh, yeah, it's at level 54 in a place where there's a lot of people with 56, 57, you know, that kind of stuff, Pokemon. So I'm gonna give that to you because it does have the Razor Claw now. I think I did capture a Pokemon that could evolve through a Razor Claw, right? Yeah. I can. I, oh, it's a Sneasel, yes. And here we have a few berries. Like a Quill Up Berry. You know, it's always nice. Good, nutritious for your Pokemon. I don't know if it works for your Poke- or for you in general. Wonder if that's true, guys. Can you eat a Pokeberry as a human? It should be the same, right? Or does Pokeberries give a little- uh, Does it give powers to any of these Pokemon? I don't know. We shall find out. And uh, we're going straight down here. Again, a lot of rock climb. A lot of rock climb around this area. And, uh, well, let's go right here. And uh, there's an item downstairs. So let's go ahead and use another rock climb. See if we can actually find uh, an another awesome item right here. So let's grab this. And we found ourselves a Carbos, which is pretty cool. And, uh, well, let's go back upstairs and see what we can find. Well, what else we can find? I think we're gonna find some some more trainers, battle everybody, do things, do great things about that. And uh, here we have a lagging tail. Nice. I don't know what that item what I, what that item does, but it looks like the tail of an onyx, right? Yes. So I'm gonna be switching out my Pokemon and make and I'm gonna make sure that you know we battle both these guys right here. I don't want to battle just one person. And oh, Mother Nature. All that stuff. <laughs> okay. And, uh, well, here we go. Battling a dragon trainer and a, f and a bird catcher. Now, again, I'm going to be ranting about this. Why would you have a level 55 Dratini when you could have evolved it to, like, freaking uh, Dragonair and Dragonite? I want to know. Why would you do that to me? Or to any of us? That's just me, guys. And, well, here we go, Flamethrower to the easiest Pokemon, Firo. Of course, I do, oh, wow, I do have a, yeah, I do have a Firo itself. <laughs> and, uh, oh, crud. Oh, crud, it's coming back. Ah, uh, damn, Dragon Dance. Now, I do remember battling a Pokemon, uh, I do remember battling a Pokemon that used Dragon Dance four times and kicked my butt, didn't have nothing. I had nothing, and, well, <laughs> well, luckily for me, I actually, you know, I managed to come back, but battling a Pokemon that uses uh, boost moves like Dragon Dance, it will beat you eventually, guys, so just be aware of that, and, uh, well, we're going to be doing this, of course, we're going to be taking an assurance right here, oh, God, okay, so here we go, flamethrower for the win, that's right, Oh, yes. And, of course, Hydra number four. Grows to level 60, so welcome to the level 60 club, buddy. And, uh, well, here we go. Here we go again. Okay, so what, what do you got? What do you got? Come on. And here we go with an avalanche. And that is how you do it, right? Come on. Damn it. Damn it, nearly beat this guy. Whatever. So there you go. Everybody's been defeated. And uh, he's going to be coming out with one more Pokemon, and that is a Zatu. So that's no biggie right there, right? No biggie. And uh, let's see. Alrighty. So here we go with a Crunch Attack. Hopefully that will take care of everything. Will it do it? Can it do it? Ah, damn it. It does. Messes you up. Alrighty. Okay. And uh, <laughs> look at that. Ha <laughs> ha. Just did it right there. Okay, so uh, just gonna be moving on right here. I'd rather I'd rather battle people in double battles than in, in like you know just uh, in single battles because it takes a long time. And here we have TM53 Energy Ball, Grass type move. Never really got to use it. Hopefully I can use it like at the very end of this whole this whole walk right here. So here we are moving around. Hopefully we don't get attacked by anybody else. <laughs> and uh, well, let's see right there. And, uh, well, let's see. There's a trainer right there, but let's see. I think there was an. Oh, no, we already got that item. Did we? I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't even know. 
Eh, well, we can always try. And of course, my repel wars off, wears off at the very end right here. Thanks a lot. And, uh, well, let's see. We go right here. And what do we find? We find nothing, right? No, we don't find anything. Oh, yeah, we find a hard scale. Also useful to, uh, also very useful to uh, actually find or to teach Pokemon moves. And, uh, well, here we are. Went to, yeah, she wants to battle with her, uh, her water type Pokemon right here. That's always fun, too. So she, here she comes with a Meryl. Meryl and, uh, well, Lexi. Let's see what it can do with me. Let's see what it can do. I don't even know. Huh. Okay, so let's see. What else What else is there that I haven't told you guys during the recording of this whole thing? The snag. Messed up. Yeah, in the next few episodes, guys, you'll actually see some, like, uh, double recordings and stuff. <laughs> double recordings of uh, different uh, Pokemon. Well, not same Pokemon teams, just different, different uh, scenarios and stuff. Uh, I don't think I've told you this, but I messed up, and I actually had to play the whole game again, but luckily for me, I got to finish it, I got to finish it in two days, thanks to, you know, the, thanks to the cheats and all that stuff, it made it just a little bit easier for me, just skip out all the trainers, battle the important ones, and then bam, just, uh, yeah, just take care of business and all that stuff. Uh, and luckily for me, I got the I got the episodes or the the footage that I needed. Now, as you can see, she's got herself a Whalmer. It's gonna be a tough Pokemon right here, but hopefully this Giga Drain will actually work. Come on, finish him. Come on, come on. Oh God, come on. Finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it. Yes. And that is how you do it right there, guys. Alrighty, okay. And, uh, well, we defeated Lydia, and, uh, what else do we got? I don't even know. <laughs> More things right here. Now, let's see, uh, there's not an item right there, and, uh, there might be an item right here. Yes, we found ourselves a rare candy. Very useful item. And, uh, there's a house around here. Well, we just passed by it, so let's go right here and, uh, see what this, what's in this house right now. Oh yeah, this guy right here is gonna be talking to you in, like different languages and stuff, and uh, he's gonna actually tell you that hey, you know, you can actually capture Pokemon or get Pokemon from different countries. So let me tinker with your P your your Pokédex right here, and he's gonna give us or he's gonna enable us to get poke or have descriptions of your Pokemon in different languages if you get Pokemon from different languages. Uh, of course, in this generation, this is where like the Wi-Fi trading started, so you can actually trade Pokemon from different countries and stuff. Unfortunately, uh, that's not the case right here. So, we're going to pause right here, guys. We have an option between 227 and 228. We're going to be starting in 228 maybe next time. So, I'll see you guys.